What's going on, guys? I'm watching and bring on a brand new episode of Washington Station, the best station for Washington Football Nation. Three weeks, three losses. We're one and three, second in the division because the Eagles won and they have a tie, so they're a half a game above us. Um, nothing too crazy to go over yesterday. Um, what happened? What I said will probably happen Friday. Happened. Um, it was evident that stuff that I called happened. Um, Dwayne had a very good game. I was very pleased. People were like, well, he didn't take enough risk. Well, then when he did take risk, he threw interception. So what do you want? Um, Chris Baker put out, I'm not going to read the whole statement because I don't want to um, say certain things. But he was basically saying, Dwayne Haskins type of quarterback has, has such a short leash in the NFL. Either you're good or you're bad. I remember this guy, and his agent came out yesterday and said, this guy had a new coach, no offseason, new scheme, told him he was going to be a starter. He had nothing going into this. So you cannot put this all on him. Is he playing bad? Yes. Is he missing opportunities? Yes. Is he is some of his stuff excusable? Yes. But the leash needs to be extended and not so short. I think Rivera said this week that they're going to, that he feels a bit more comfortable because Dwayne Haskins had a good game. He threw for about, what, 40 passes, I think, which is too much. Uh, the running game just couldn't get going. I mean, Terry Gibson had some good plays yesterday, especially on the screens. Those screens. Screens make my heart stop when I see that happen. And to see him have work yesterday was outstanding. Like, with them, Isaiah Wright. Did Dontrell Lemon get one? I don't know if Dontrell Lemon got one. And Terry McLaurin just balling out as usual. We had a good game, 314 yards, one rushing touchdown. Um... I liked how we called the QB sneak and then that didn't work, so we just did it one more time. And a couple times the QB sneak worked out for Dwayne yesterday, and he yesterday just showed his um, his strength and his want to win. And um, you know he didn't give up. You know taking shots later in the game, which is really good. But why wasn't that play call being called at the beginning? Because you got to remember, if the routes aren't being run like that, Dwayne can't throw it to him. And Scott Turner wasn't like really able to call them until late in the game. So you know. How much is on Dwayne versus how much is on the coordinator? Um, defense played well. Um, Fuller had two interceptions yesterday, which um, we won the turnover battle, I think. Oh, no, we did fumble it once, but um, or twice. I think we fumbled it once for sure. Um, but, you know, it was just what I expected. I didn't expect us to win. Um, 31 to 17 is not a bad score by any means. If you're a Washington fan, you know, keep your head up. You know, it's a young season and a horrible division. Pat McAfee said it best this morning on his podcast. It's this, this division about who play, who sucks the least. So we just need to suck the least. I don't care if we suck. It's all we don't, it'll be suck with the best record. Um, defense looks good. We might have Chase Young back this week. We might have Steven Sims back this week, which those two guys will be very impactful coming back. A bit on our third string returner yesterday with Isaiah Wright. Um, because Stroman got hurt. Um, but the whole line, the first pass of the game was absolutely horrendous where they let Matthew Judon unblocked and just took down Dwayne. You can't put anything on Dwayne in that situation. That is pure Matthew Judon. I apologize for the lawnmower and cutting grass. They cut grass every day. Don't know why. And, um, but yeah, that went unblocked and Dwayne went down to the ground. It is what it is. Uh, running game looked pretty good blocking. Well, you know, the O-line is going to give us so much. The defense looked strong. Linebackers, I mean, we did what we could. I would say this is my big takeaway. We didn't play bad defensively. We just let big plays happen when we didn't need them to. There are big third downs that they converted. It'd be a humongous third down, and then they convert it. You know, Lamar had a 50-yard rushing touchdown, which when Lamar gets that open space, he's gone. I'm sorry. I'm not throwing a whole lot of that onto the defense. But, you know, it was just what we expected. I, Hopkins has got to get better for a 50-yard range. He's only 52% when kicking over 50 yards. He's such a good kicker. Um, he's been such a reliable guy since 2015. He just needs to work on that a little bit more and just make sure to get that accuracy right. Which And people that watch it on TV, I'm, I'm going to say this. You know that whole theory that um, the camera adds 10 pounds? Well, if you go to an NFL game or like me where you're working at um, training camp and you're right beside the field goal post, those things are not wide. Now saying that, you are pro paid to kick it through those 
due to his uprights. But they are incredibly small distance. Like, I don't maybe the this maybe the width of this room. I, it's it's very thin, it's very small. You look up at it and you're like, holy crap. You have to be accurate for that, which makes it challenging, which is what a pro league, but just, just saying, you know, back off a little bit. When these guys miss it a little bit off the upright, because remember, they constantly shorten them. When they came into the league, they're like this, and now they're like this. So, you got, it's like the same thing with Dwayne Haskins. You can't have such a short leash on these guys. You got to have a bigger leash. Um, credit to Rivera yesterday, pushing through the game. He was sick early in the week, missed Wednesday's practice and part of Thursday's practice. And he's going through cancer treatment. He has three weeks left of cancer treatment um, of chemo. So we'll see. We'll pray for the best with that. Um, it was a beautiful um, display they had yesterday of his friends, family, colleagues, especially having his late brother's picture in there, which um, Rivera talked about post game. was a really um, heartwarming moment. I really enjoyed that. I really enjoyed, you know, what faces were in those cutouts. It was amazing. Um, Rivera Strong. Um, if they, I hope they make they um, produce and sell shirts that have Rivera Strong on it, because I will definitely get a Rivera Strong shirt. Because um, I'm in full support of this coach, and um, yeah, you know, um, we got a long week ahead. Um, I think we got a couple of good winnable weeks. We played the Giant. We played the Rams this week and Giants next week, so we should. Get ourselves back to 500 um, by the end because the Rams started out looking very strong this season, but now kind of look meh. They're winning. Are they undefeated? I don't know if they're undefeated or not, but anyway, they're meh. They're not good like they started out. They came out the season slinging, and that's kind of like meh. I like how last season went for them. So, you know, we'll see how it happens. Pray for the best for our team. Um, so we can get some guys back who are injured. And uh, yeah, so hope you enjoyed today's video. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure to hit that bell button to notify every single time I upload a brand new video. Make sure to comment down below your thoughts. I mean, we're in a horrible division, so it's really not who plays the least worst. So anyway, go football team. Um, hope you have a great week. Make sure to stay safe. I'm a Morris and you, were, and you just watched Washington Station. I'm out. Peace.